Stephanie. Okay. Mark Twain once said that in 20 years, you'll be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. Personally, I couldn't agree more, and I'm sure you all would agree with that also. Today, I'd like to share with you a story about, the time, about a time how I got the opportunity to experience the universal theme of freedom as I shed my anxiety and found peace in my process. It was just me, my friend, my car, and the open road. We first went to a football game, had way too much excitement, and tried to go home and sleep. Then decided to pick up and drive to California in the middle of the night, and had to come back to reality after that. It was probably about 10.30 when the football game ended, and we had just won, so we were really excited and amped up. And we walked home, and my friend lives right down the hall from me, so we both went our separate ways. About 20 minutes later, she texted me, and she was like, Hey, would you like to go grab my tea? And I mean, I wasn't going to sleep, so I said, sure, why not? Might as well, have something to do. So she came over for a little while, and we were talking about it, and we couldn't really figure out what we wanted to do. So we decided to just get in my car and drive around until we found what we wanted to do. So we get in my car, and we're driving around, and we're probably in Mesa, and we just end up getting on the 60. So we're driving on the 60, just going away, like doing our thing, and then suddenly we ended up on the I-10. And it was probably around the time we got to Phoenix where we were kind of started joking like, oh, what if we ended up just going to California? What if we just went and sat on the beach for the sunrise? So by this point, we're an hour and a half outside of Phoenix and there really wasn't any turning back because it was almost like worth it to just go the four hours to the beach rather than to just turn around and spend another hour and a half and just having wasted a drive. So probably around 4.30, it's still pitch black outside. All you see is the stars and the road ahead of us. And then all of a sudden, we see the city lights gleaming in the distance. And we're so excited because we're like, we're almost there, we're almost there. And mind you, I have severe anxiety when it comes to things like this. I'm not the type of person who usually just gets up and does things on a whim. I'm like a planner and I always stress about things and they have to be perfectly set out. And so this was crazy for me and I'm like, my mind is blown. I still don't really believe it's happening. And around five o'clock, we pull up to Coronado Beach and we drag our exhausted selves out of the car. And you can just smell the salt in the air. And you can hear the waves lapping on the shore. And it's still pitch black outside. So we go and lay down on the cool sand. And it's so beautiful in San Diego right now. Like the weather was cool and crisp and it was awesome. So we're laying down on the beach and then the sun starts to rise behind us. And you can see the pink reflection of the sunrise glistening on the water and it was the most beautiful thing and I don't know if any of you guys have ever just felt like free just like nothing really mattered but that's like in that moment I just felt so free like my anxiety just melted away all the stress that was left behind in Tempe was just kind of irrelevant so we spent the day on the beach and then we went to La this is me on the beach at sunrise in uh, Coronado and then we went to La Jolla and saw the seals um, at La Jolla Beach and then we went and walked around downtown San Diego for a while just the whole day was so fun and like no plans just did what we wanted to do so we hopped back in the car because we had to head back to reality at some point we still had like tons of homework and things to do and we chugged like a bunch of coffee because we still hadn't slept and we knew it was going to be really tough because we were both really tired and so we just get in the car and the whole time we're driving back all i could think was like wow we just drove to california like i still wasn't processing in my mind that it was real and it's such a little excursion but for someone who just usually has to have everything planned out it was such a big thing for me and so i got back and literally i just like laid down